Right oh, hey guys. Uh, today we're going to talk about 3D modeling and how we utilize a 3D model not just to show the client or to figure things out, but actually how to use it so that we can get a bill of quantities for it, so we can assign price and give the client a quote, and also how we can actually utilize that bill of quantities to create order lists for subcontractors and give them cut lists. So what we've ordered from and what we're going to cut it from and therefore they're not cutting longer lengths into shorter lengths and we get a bit of a hassle as we go. So I've got a really simple deck here guys you can see. Uh, have a quick look around it. It's got stainless steel wiring. Uh, it's got footings in there that are going into the ground. It's got stirrups that hold the posts. It's got joist uh, brackets there to hold up the joist where we've got different spans. It's more of just an example more than a, a building model, but just so you can have a look. Now, building information modeling typically is being designed for larger commercial projects and no one's really focused on residential construction such as decks or houses or, or pergolas. And what we did is we actually created some tools that enabled you to do it efficiently by choosing a post that already comes with footings and stirrups. And then you can change the lengths and the sizes of the posts and the pitches of the roof and everything like that, and it enables you to very quickly create a 3D model like this. And guys, check out the YouTube channel. There's a whole heap of information on how to go about creating a model like this. But today, as I mentioned, we're gonna talk about uh, a bill of quantities and takeoff. So what I did there is I just quickly clicked the takeoff button, and you'll notice that inside of this takeoff, it has concrete posts and beams. Inside of there, it has concrete, uh, joists, joist hardware, posts, and stairs. Inside of my decking, it's got all the decking and so on. Now, I clicked that and it took it off from the model. However, there's some tools that enable us to make this better, to make it work better. So that not only can we get a solid bill of quantities, we can also create a customer estimate at the same time. Uh, and therefore, you know, we can have our own pretty picture, our logos, uh, a job description, and all of this is generated from the 3D model. We can also break the job down into stages. So you'll notice before when we looked at this, the job was broken into stages and typically these would be progress payment stages. And you can set those up with a levels and layers tool. And the way you like to present your quote to the client is up to you. All these images are changing. Obviously you'd add your own logo and your own write up. But the information down here is actually coming from the model. So inside of the model, we can assign cost to items. So at the moment we're looking at concrete here. Uh, if I went over to my bill of quantities and we just search concrete and search, it's highlighted it for us and we can see how many cubic feet of concrete are in this particular model. Uh, and if we go in and we go uh, edit see more, we can associate things with poor concrete pad footings and so on. And you'll notice that it's just highlighted everything that I searched for. So we have a direct correlation with the uh, bill of quantities as we do with the quote. Now in some instances, we don't actually show clients breakdowns of prices because some clients want to come back and say, oh, their brother Bob can do it at a better price. And that's a bit of a pain in the ass. So let's have a look at how we can change that. So we can untick how we want things to do. So we don't want to show the quantity of materials. We can turn that off. If we don't want to show the prices of materials, or we want to don't show the quantity and prices combined, we can just turn these off and on. And therefore, as we start to do it, we can break our quotes down into, you know, just stages of a project, which makes it a lot more consumable for the client. Sometimes too much information is worse than not enough. Uh, so we can get right down into, the, and then we can put our terms and conditions in and save them forever on and, and make edits and save them as templates. This is for a simple deck, guys, but you can do this for a full house, uh, you know, multi-million dollar project. We even have some customers that are doing this on $250 million commercial projects, uh, all residential, usually timber frame or wood framing, and it kind of helps them move forwards. Now, let's have a quick look at the 3D model itself. So I'm just going to go over the plus design build levels and layers tags uh, tool over here. And what this enables us to do is just to turn things off very quickly. So we're looking at the stages of the project, and this is where we were quoting to in that particular uh, takeoff that I showed you there before. And these are the stages that we might charge as progress payments, or it's just good for us to actually build it in front of a subcontractor so they can see what it is we're going to be delivering and how to go about putting that together 
the way that it's been drawn. The drawing also, uh, let's go to toggle them all on. Uh, so the drawing will also create the 2D documentation elevations and plans straight out of uh, Plus Design Build. It has a, a, a tool in here that enables us to do this. And we can look at our elevations for council submissions, our floor plans, our footing layouts, which is really important for our uh, set out on site, uh, and sections and so on. You know, we can make these look really pretty if we want to and you know do animations and so on, which is great for customers. If you can't sell the job, there's no point in quoting the job, and uh, I believe that this is a good way to do that. Uh, so again, guys, you can break it down into everything. So floor joists, joist layouts. Now, I also mentioned how do we go about creating cut and order lists. And inside of our takeoff, we can actually change it so that we can go into a different type of takeoff, and we can do advanced framing takeoffs, and therefore we can create cut and order lists. Now, if I go up to uh, my framing now, and you'll notice I've got advanced framing, edit see more. What it's done is it's broken every member down into a beam number and size so that we can actually order these things. And it's telling us what type of joist they are, whether they're uh, girders, uh, the size that they're to be cut and so on. And we can export this to an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm just gonna go export takeoff, and we're gonna send it over to a cut and order list. And we're just going to save it. Okay, and it should open up that location for me. I've got date modified. Today is the 4th. Let's have a look at that. All right. Let's have a look at what we got here. Okay, so it's telling me that it, whether it's a joist or a rafter, a common rafter, and the size it's been ordered from, and the size it will be cut to. And we can change our order lengths according to what's available at our local lumber supplier. Or if you are a lumber supplier, you'll put inside of the takeoff tool the available lengths, and therefore it can cut, break them down into lengths. There's nothing worse than having all of our 18 footers cut up into 9 footers, and they were required to be 17 foot. So this saves a lot and this can be sent to the subcontractor very quickly. At the same time, the soft subcontractor doesn't actually need uh, software. We can export the model so that they can open it in a browser. You'll also notice one other thing before I go and export this model to a browser, uh, which a browser is basically something we've all got, Google Chrome or Internet Explorer or something like that. You can also break the quote down into a, a, a detailed bill of quantities and including tax and everything like that. So for instance, if you're uh, doing uh, your takeoffs in, in plus design build, but you're sending it to other software, you can export a CSV file and import it into pretty much a majority of every other estimating package or CRM package available. Let's just get rid of that for a second. Uh, save that and Let's have a look at how we would send this model to, say, a client without them having to have SketchUp. Uh, so let's. what we can do here is we can click on one button and we can choose what we do or don't want to see. So if we didn't want to show structure to a client, I could turn it off or I could turn elevations off or whatever it might be, I can turn it off. So let's turn these two off here and we can go down the bottom and we can click Submit. And what it's going to do, it's going to export the 3D model into a format that can be opened in a browser. Okay. Right, so now I have the 3D model inside of a browser and I can turn it around and look at it, but if I want to look at structural views or you want to show the subcontractor what the intention was and which way the joists are going to run, they can open this on their telephone, or telephone's a bit old school, on their smartphone. Uh, we can run them through a schedule, we can turn things off and on. So for instance, if I just want to turn my joists off, my joists are off and you can see that there's brackets, all of this is available on their mobile phone, which means that not only can you give them a, an order and cut list, you can actually give them a visual understanding of what's required to build this particular project. Uh, let's turn all this back on. Client presentation view. They can even cut sections through if they choose. So let's have a look at this. Enable sections, and we're going to cut a section through here. And then they can look through the project so that everything that they need to know is there and also which way the joists have been spaced from and now all the information that's required to build a project like this. 
Anyway, guys, if you'd like to learn how to do this or you need to know more about it, you can Google Plus Design Build. We'll put a link below. Uh, you can take a look at it. And guys, if you're in residential construction, this is the tool that we've been waiting for for years. You can quote in front of clients. You can get quotes out of the way. You can have salespeople use software to show the people that are doing estimating what it is you're going to deliver. Anyway, guys, hope it helps. If you've got any questions, ask them below. If you like the video, push like. If you dislike the video, push dislike. But make sure you tell us why. Cheers.